Will Google's Gemini be a game changer in the realm of artificial intelligence? Google DeepMind's CEO says so. If it is correct, what is so special about Gemini? Let's see. We all believed for a very long time that Bard would be Google's chat GPT replacement. But Google proved us all incorrect in May of this year when it unveiled its forthcoming large language model, Gemini, at the Google I.O. conference. Due to the LLM's multimodal characteristics, which were disclosed, both tech professionals and hobbyists were interested in it. And now, DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis claims that Gemini will be more potent than OpenAI's ChatGPT once it hits the market. According to Hassabis, DeepMind is developing Gemini, which would be more powerful than ChatGPT, according to a story from IANS that Wired initially published. Additionally, he disclosed that the AlphaGo AI program strategies are being used by the DeepMind team. OpenAI's enormous language models have so far surpassed rivals in the AI race because of their early release and Microsoft's vast data center infrastructure to support them. However, since powerful new AI models are created every month, ChatGPT's hegemony might not last forever. Google is the one with a far higher chance of actually competing. According to the information, Google's next Gemini project will debut its next-generation AI models as early as this autumn. The company selected Gemini to power its business tools, such as Google Docs and Slides, and its Bard AI chatbot. What is AlphaGo? For those who don't know, DeepMind developed an algorithm dubbed AlphaGo that defeated the human world champion in the strategy board game Go. AlphaGo also uses a Monte Carlo tree search technique to find and choose its moves during a game of Go. You can see how ChatGPT could have to face off against the consumer-facing solution created by using these techniques on Gemini. Reinforcement learning is a method used by AlphaGo that enables the computer program to learn by making mistakes and receiving feedback on how it performs. Gemini can plan and deal with issues more successfully if they adopt this tactic. To communicate more autonomously with the internet and computers is the next major challenge for language models, and DeepMind is concentrating on that with Gemini. In the year 2016, AlphaGo, a DeepMind product, became the first computer program to triumph over a world-class human player in a strategy board game Go. The article quoted Hassabis as saying, At a high level, you can think of Gemini as combining some of the strengths of AlphaGo-type systems with the amazing language capabilities of the large models. When completed, Gemini could play a major role in Google's response to the competitive threat posed by ChatGPT and other generative AI technology, he continued. We're already at work on Gemini, our next model created from the ground up to be multimodal, highly efficient at tool and API integrations, and built to enable future innovations like memory and planning. Google wrote in a blog post at the time of Gemini's introduction. Even though Gemini is still under training, it is already displaying multimodal abilities not found in previous versions, like Palm 2. Gemini will be offered in a range of sizes and functionalities after it has been thoroughly tested for safety and adjusted so that it may be used with a variety of goods, programs, and gadgets for everybody's good. An AI-powered chatbot called ChatGPT was first introduced in November 2022 and quickly became extremely popular. The AI chatbot could do several jobs that were previously impossible, such as creating code, articles, music, and poetry. As ChatGPT started to be deployed in a variety of industries, worries about technology potentially replacing human workers in the future also started to surface. GPT-4, a more sophisticated variant of ChatGPT, was also unveiled earlier this year. Even though many experts have forewarned us about the rapid progress of AI, some think the technology may ease human labor and prove to be a useful assistant. Google unveiled Gemini during the IO Developer Conference. Gemini was created from the ground up to be multimodal, highly efficient at the tool and API integrations, and built to enable future innovations, Google said during the event. Gemini AI, according to Google, will come in a variety of sizes and capabilities. It exhibits its flexibility and enables fine-tuning to particular needs. Google is certain that Gemini AI will triumph in ChatGPT for factors other than money. Instead, the AI's core is under investigation. So why Gemini AI? Google has no motivation to produce an already existing thing. Gemini AI is, therefore, not concentrating on performing at par with the GPT-4. The artificial intelligence that defeated the Go world champion is known as AlphaGo. Google is also using the same algorithms that drove AlphaGo to develop Gemini AI. Gemini will eventually become a great planner and problem solver as a result. The process of reinforcement learning was used to build AlphaGo. The application will repeatedly try to complete a task using this tactic. Based on the comments it gets, it can get better. 
Instead of concentrating on the conventional LLM approach of feeding models with data, Gemini researchers are pushing the envelope by including problem-solving functionalities, inspired by their knowledge of robotics and neuroscience. Since ChatGPT's launch, DeepMind has struggled to keep up with its exponential surge in popularity. Hasabas, though, remains unfazed and is adamant that the merger between DeepMind and Google's main AI division, Brain, will be successful. Given the dangers AI brings to Web3, banking, media, and health, concerned consumer protection groups in the EU and the US are urging regulators to take proactive measures to restrict the hazards of AI misuse. Despite ChatGPT's dominance, Demis Hassabis, CEO of Google DeepMind, recently stated to Wired that Google's Gemini AI system could soon surpass GPT-4. AlphaGo and Gemini's text response capabilities will be combined by Google. On the other hand, Hassabis does not take his support for the advancement of AI lightly. He was one of several experts and well-known people who agreed to sign a letter stating that pandemic or nuclear war-like risks posed by AI could exist. He also cautioned that if AI development keeps moving forward at its current rate, there won't be much time left to put safeguards in place. The reasoning behind Gemini is straightforward, to compete and become more resource-friendly. Google intends to improve the functionality of its enterprise-based products, such as Google Docs and Slides, and power Google Bard. Additionally, Google charges developers to use its Google Cloud Server Rental division to access the Gemini AI software. This action will directly compete with Microsoft and its Office 365 AI integrations. Gemini could launch in the fall of 2023, which could lead to further advancements in the field of medical science because Gemini could power medical AI chatbots and robots. The main training resource for the Gemini AI application will be Google's large knowledge base and rich data-driven application base. You already have a winner when you combine this big language model or LLM training list with a deep experience-driven understanding and a thriving talent pool. Gemini is combining a multimodal encoder and decoder utilizing a novel architecture. It is the former's responsibility to translate various data into a common language that the latter can comprehend and utilize. The decoder also produces outputs in many modalities, which is the innovative aspect of the most recent Google creation. Since Gemini is not solely dependent on its base data training, you can anticipate new outcomes. Without relying on its initial data training, the application will be able to develop as it goes along. When Google's Gemini launches, will ChatGPT and the latter be at odds? With the release of its newest program, Google does want to crush the competition. Here is what is currently known about Gemini and how it compares to ChatGPT, its primary rival. The GPT-4 language model has a sizable parameter count of between 1 trillion and 1.7 trillion. It swiftly provides answers to inquiries, prepares essays, and translates languages. However, ChatGPT is constrained in what it can and cannot perform. The multimodal intelligence network Gemini, on the other hand, will be able to manage a variety of tasks, data-driven requirements, photos, audio, videos, 3D models, and even graphs once it is deployed. Gemini is a collection of model networks. Hence, it can handle many queries at once without being constrained. The launch date for Google Gemini is still a mystery as of this writing. According to the speculations about its release, it may be accessible to a larger audience between September and December 2023. After Google Gemini is released later this year, OpenAI and Gemini will compete on the open market. While consumers have given OpenAI's ChatGPT ample attention, Gemini AI should be a breath of fresh air with its novel viewpoint on AI and improved capabilities. So, does Google Gemini compete with ChatGPT? Only time will tell because Gemini's debut and complete feature set are still very much in flux. That's it guys, stay tuned for more tech news like this. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.